Assalamu alaikum. Um, wa alaikum. First, Imran, I just need to pass on a message from my mum who says that her prayers are with you. So, inshallah, you are successful. Um, I'm currently sitting on the health and social. I'm currently, sit I'm currently sitting on the health and social committee um, at this conference. And a lot of the solutions that we've come up to for the problems, um, we're finding it dis difficult to find adequate solutions because of corruption. Everywhere, every time we're looking for a solution, the problem is the corruption. So I'm just asking to see how are we going to get rid of this culture of corruption that is present all over Pakistan? Uh, you know, Pakistanis, uh, when, they, when they leave Pakistan, I see them in Dubai, I see them in America, uh, in England. Uh, and I, when I first came here as an 18-year-old, I remember the Pakistani community then, and I see it now. Look, there are, there are two types of uh, people in Pakistan. One, who corrupt the system, two types of corruption. One are people who corrupt the system to make money, and the others, the majority, are corrupted by the system. So, the ones who have corrupted the system must be held accountable. That's the ruling elite. The ones who are corrupted by the system, you change the system and, and, and you can uh, uh, fight corruption. Shokat Hanam is, is one hospital. I challenge anyone to find any corruption in the hospital. So, it's, it's by setting up systems. So, you know, if you set up a, a system where, for instance, we made sure that there is as much um, everything is computerized in the hospital. Similarly, if you want to stop uh, in Pakistan, if you want the biggest corruption is in the revenue department, and make it e-government. In the United States, no one sees the tax man. So reduce the human contact. But most of all, the, uh, so I'll go one by one. Number one, conflict of interest law. You cannot come into government and start building your factories. Number two, a, a NAB or the Accountability Bureau must be an independent institution like the National Audit Commission here in England. And independent, it must be independent to the government. Number three, must have devolution of spending. So Terry can solve what it's, uh, we, uh, uh, we want to devolve power right down to the village level. So funds, development funds must go straight to the village level. There was a research done in Pakistan by World Bank that if you wanted to give $100 to a school in DG Khan and you gave it through the central government, only $5 reached that school. So give $100 straight to the school. So therefore, what we want is devolved spending, decentralization. And, and then uh, uh, the leadership, and I'm talking about the cabinet, the members of parliament, the leadership must declare their assets. And it should be put on the website. Tariq and Saf is the only party all the central leadership have declared their assets, their taxes, and they put it on the website. So, and make, and lastly, make Benami. Benami means, you know, uh, holding, uh, hiding assets in other people's name. Make that a crime. Uh, and what we have decided is, our party's policy is, and we learned this from, by the way, an incredible man called Natish Kumar, Chief Minister of Bihar, who has revolutionized Bihar. Because he was honest, all the steps I'm telling you, he took those steps. And what he did was, and we, we, I, I invited him to my house, our senior leadership met him, we asked him questions. Any property which is Benami, which has found that someone has hidden an asset and hasn't declared it, will be taken by the state and all, all that uh, uh, property confiscated from corruption will go towards education.